It's the second ocean tragedy this year involving boat propellers. On Saturday, a woman was critically injured during a canoe race from Maui to Molokai after she was hit by a boat's propellers. In January, Shri Shim died after getting hit by the propeller of a passing boat off Lanikai Beach. Lawmakers considered requiring boats to be equipped with propeller guards, but the bill failed. Is it something they'll revisit next session? Bridget Namata goes beyond the headlines. Bridget? Well, I learned there was a heated debate between supporters and opponents of the bill when it was introduced last session, but both could not agree on the safest route. In January, Sri Shim was killed when a boat ran over him while free diving in the waters off Kailua. It prompted several lawmakers to consider a proposal making propeller guards mandatory, saying it would not only protect ocean goers, but marine life as well. It failed. I called Representative Chris Lee, one of the lawmakers who introduced the bill. He tells me opponents and supporters could not see eye to eye. You had advocates for the bill and um, opponents from the boating community who ultimately said this is going to be um, uh, too cost prohibitive, spending a few hundred dollars to put in a propeller guard on each boat and would decrease the performance of their boat. Lee says a compromise was reached. A resolution was enacted in Kailua Bay where DLNR looked at no-wake zones and stricter enforcement for boats speeding in areas with swimmers. Lee says he would consider reintroducing the idea of mandatory prop guards. I hope we can do more because I think every life saved is worth the effort, and that's the bottom line. A boater we spoke with agrees. There is a, a lot of, um, you know, ocean safety uh, education that goes along with this. Um, but I do believe that propellers will, um, propeller guards will absolutely help to um, alleviate some of these issues that are happening. We reached out to DLNR to get an update on the investigation behind Chim's death. The state declined to comment. Bridget Namata, KHA 1, 2 News. Hawaii has had its share of boating accidents. As we said, in January, 59-year-old Shri Shim was killed when he was hit by a boat propeller while diving off Lanikai. In December of 2011, 60-year-old William Gonzalez was killed off Maui when a boat ran him over while he was setting up flags for a canoe race. Four months before that, 51-year-old Alan Amancio was hit and killed by a tour boat while diving off Lanai. And in October of 2010, Luke Evslin nearly lost his life when he was hit by a boat's propeller during the Molokai Hoi canoe race.